You're driving along a highway, the weather's good, and you're in total control of the car. And suddenly, BAM! Another driver comes out of nowhere, cuts you off, and slams the brakes. Naturally, you can't avoid the collision. Sounds like a typical fender bender. But you might be surprised to know that this is one of many scams people try to pull on the road. 1. The cut and brake scam So let's start with that situation. You've now got a mangled front bumper, and you're standing there looking at your poor vehicle mouth ajar. What just happened? Why did he slam the brakes after cutting you off? Hey, he did it on purpose, and he's after your cash. But it doesn't end there. The car that cut you off turns out to be full of passengers complaining about neck and back pain. You want to be empathetic and believe what they're telling you, but don't. Otherwise, you'll end up with a serious collision and injuries claim against you. All you must do is play it cool. You were driving carefully, you were attentive of all the other drivers on the road, you weren't tailgating, and that's all good. That's exactly how you should be driving. So the evidence will be on your side when you fight this thing. Call the police and gather your own evidence just in case. Take pictures of both cars, the road, everything. Were there any witnesses? Get their information. Pay attention to the passenger's behavior. If they move around freely and start pretending to be badly injured only after the police and ambulance arrive, the accident is most likely a scam. But once the case gets fully investigated, you should walk away from this thing with a law on your side. And it also doesn't hurt to invest in a dash cam for your car. Number 2. White Smoke Let's say you found your car a cozy spot in the parking lot and left to go run your errands. As soon as you return and start the car, puffs of thick white smoke appear from under the hood or the muffler. Then a stranger shows up and, gesticulating wildly, tells you that you have some horrible problems with your car. Naturally, you're in a panic. So you jump out of your vehicle and run to open the hood to look inside. Your noble assistant tells you to go start the engine while he checks it. Unfortunately, if you fall for this lie and get back behind the wheel, the volunteer will start tinkering around and, surprise, surprise, your car won't start. After that, they'll offer to tow your car to the nearest service station. If you agree, be ready to pay for your gullibility. Not only will this person demand payment for his towing services, but his buddies at the garage may also trick you by saying that your car needs some costly repairs. Okay, first try to figure out the cause of the smoke yourself, and don't let strangers approach your car. I'll tell you right now, that guy had poured some oil on the muffler or the bottom part of the engine while you were away. Also, check if any warning lights are flashing on the dash. If you're still unsure whether you've been tricked or not, you can never go wrong by calling a legit car service or towing company. Never agree to towing services from strangers who conveniently pop up out of nowhere. Number 3. Unexpected help Going along the same lines of that convenient Good Samaritan, this scam goes a little something like this. You're driving along perfectly fine when, suddenly, somebody starts flagging you to pull over. The driver comes up to your car and says he'd seen white smoke billowing from under your hood. You don't know any better since you were behind the wheel and couldn't see anything under the car, so you take his word for it. In the same breath, the scammer so graciously offers to check under the hood for you. And while they're at it, they inconspicuously spray a bit of oil under the engine. And voila! White smoke does billow out when you start the car up again to see for yourself. The criminal then pretends to be repairing the defect and succeeds in eliminating the problem. Hooray? Not so fast. After that, this on-site repairman starts demanding money for his services, and believe it or not, a lot of people, especially inexperienced drivers, agree to pay up. Later, however, they find out that their car didn't have any problems at all, and they'd been bamboozled. 
Whatever happens, do not accept any suspicious help. If something like this ever happens to you, just call a friend, relative, or a trusted mechanic to come help you out. If you can't hear any suspicious noises from under the hood, everything looks normal, and there aren't any warning lights lit up on the dash, simply continue your trip without ever leaving the car. Number 4. A Hurt Pedestrian Here's another way they like to play with your empathy and guilt. You're slowly creeping along the parking lot looking for a spot with full concentration. You don't pay any attention to a person walking past your car. But suddenly, the pedestrian hits the ground, most likely damaging or even breaking off your side-view mirror in the process. Obviously, you get out of the car to see if they're okay. That's when the victim starts threatening you that they'll call the police. But we can settle it right now, they add. What would you do in this case? Experienced drivers or skeptics won't give in. But there are those who do. So don't be one of the gullible ones. Simply agree to call the police right then and there. Sometimes that alone is enough to send the victim running. But even if they suddenly have a change of heart and promise that everything's cool, no hard feelings or complaints, insist that they wait for the police to come and file a report. Otherwise, they might call the authorities later with your plate number. Plus, if this person purposely damaged your car, you should be compensated for that. Anyway, don't sweat it. The police will likely examine footage from surveillance cameras in or near the parking lot. Again, if you've done nothing wrong, then you have nothing to worry about. Number 5. Come on over. This is a particularly dangerous scam that's hard to fight. Crooks notice a driver who's trying to merge into traffic. They slow down and wave their hand to signal that they're letting the driver in. But just as the unsuspecting victim merges into the lane, the Good Samaritan speeds up and crashes into their car. The next thing the victim knows, the crook vehemently denies ever letting the other driver over and claims that they just merged right into them. This is a situation when witnesses could play a key role. If there were any and they so graciously pulled over to stand up for you when the police get there, then that's ideal. But it also doesn't hurt to be extra careful and attentive when merging into traffic. Keep your eyes on the car ahead and behind you, and you shouldn't fall victim to this scam. Number 6. Envelope in the car This scam typically goes like this. In the morning, you get into your car, coffee in hand, and ready for another day. But then you notice an envelope lying on the passenger seat. That wasn't there yesterday, so how did it get here overnight? You're positive that you locked your car last night. That's when it hits you. Somebody broke into it. But that's not all. You open the envelope and it reads, Dear Sir or Ma'am, we've tested your car's alarm system and the possibility of a break-in. As you can see, your vehicle has major security risks. We expect your financial gratitude and, in return, we'll send you some personalized recommendations on how to protect your car. There's also an account or phone number attached to the letter. So, do you send the money and wait for their awesome services? Of course not! By no means should you ever send money to strangers with threats. It'll only encourage them to keep going. Call the police! Also, try to leave your car only in secured parking lots and get your alarm system checked regularly by your car's manufacturer. Now, before I leave you with all that to think about, please remember that people fall victim to these kinds of scams more often than you think. Whether it's because they want to save time or would prefer to settle a problem on their own without the police or lawyers, it does happen. So don't let it happen to you. Have you heard of other tricks scammers use on the road? Let me know down in the comments. If you learned something new today, then give this video a like and share it with a friend. But hey, don't go anywhere just yet. We have over 2,000 cool videos for you to check out. All you have to do is pick the left or right video, click on it, and enjoy. Stay on the bright side of life.